Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of whatever happened in Italy uh, during the week. We had quite an exciting quarterfinal round in the cup. Uh, however flawed that cup competition might be in its setup and Maurizio Sarri even said it might be the most unfair competition out there um, and he has a point. The teams take it seriously and so it actually makes for quite some good games and uh, quite some exciting games. So in that sense, uh, once it comes to the latter stages of the Coppa Italia, you usually get pretty good games. And there are more to come that are spicy as can be in the semifinals. And then we had the Serie A round where um, last week I said, yeah, maybe maybe Milan's win over Inter opened and Napoli's win at Venezia opened the door to a potential title race. It's a title race now. It is a title race now. Still, Inter overwhelming favorites. It has to be said uh, because they have the game in hand. They are probably the strongest squad and who knows how long they will stay in the Champions League. But... At the moment, this is the tightest uh, top three that we have in Europe. A top three that probably will not be joined by Juventus. I think all the excitement that we had last week about Juventus uh, got packed down a notch. Although they had a good showing um, against Atalanta. But then on the other side, Atalanta is probably a grief that they probably should, should, should have won that game. It was good from Juventus for, for, for a while, but um, Atalanta always came uh, back and made it exciting there. So yeah, I think up top in Italy, it is really, really interesting uh, for sure. And even towards the bottom, uh, things are starting to get exciting. I would say we'll start in the Coppa, where we had, as I said, the quarterfinals uh, played, or Orient used to with Interplay Roma. Uh, and Inter came out firing. Uh, Jake Orin in the second minute, making it 1 0, not celebrating. Ah, hero's welcome for Mourinho, of course. Uh, his first time back at the San Siro at an Inter game. Uh, so, all the fans, uh, of course, remember his uh, heroics that he did for them uh, winning the. That travel, which probably among all the travels that have ever been achieved, and I don't want to poop on Inter in, in a way, because it is a big achievement, but I think of all the travels that have ever been achieved, this was the most accidental in many ways, I would say. But you know, that might be a topic for another video. Anyway, heroes welcome for him. Uh, Inter come out uh, flying. As I said, Jaco did not um, celebrate because he just came from Roma. Uh, I think Barella then hit the bar, but then slowly, 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 Roma clawed themselves back into the game, had some half chances, then created a really big one through uh, Zaniolo. So I thought actually, yeah, maybe Roma can get into it. And then Alexis Sanchez with a wonderful shot. I mean, the way he hits that one up into the corner of the goal, amazing, 2-0 Inter, that was done. My problem was that on the next day, uh, on a pitch that has already, you know, we know the San Siro pitch is bad. It got redone and the derby uh, was all the better for it. And now they played another three games. I mean, within a week, I think uh, within eight days, the San Siro pitch got played on four times. This is the reason why the pitch is so bad. Yes, uh, circulation, blah, blah. But too many games on that pitch. In any case, Milan just... 24 hours later, take on Lazio with the other uh, in, um, <laughs> Milan against Rome uh, matchup. And while well, the opening exchanges might have been a little bit even as soon as Leo made it, made it one, uh, Milan just steamrolled Lazio. And I have to say, the atmosphere in the stadium was so positive. After that Darwin win, you can see that the fan base is galvanized and was carrying the team for, for forward. And Milan. Uh, looked irresistible. I mean, Lazio really had not much in that one. Leao uh, set it off with a wonderful Romagnoli pass, uh, and then he uses just the speed of uh, Leao. Leao himself then assists Giroud, and then Thierry Hernandez again Giroud before they have it. It's 3-0, and I'm, ah, uh, yeah, this is a wonderful evening. I can relax now. Uh, and then, you know, uh, the only, how to say, the only uh, really... Um, yeah, I, it was not the, the greatest showing then in the second half. Uh, Kessier got a little bit whistled whenever he had the ball, but he scores the fourth goal and so makes up for that as well. As I said, 
except for the Cassie situation, things at, at Milan are rather rosy at this point. Then we had Atalanta against Fiorentina, which is a game I would have liked to see. It was a, it was the Pionte game, who scores two penalties. No, he didn't score two, two penalties. The second goal he made was uh, a tap in after he missed the pen -pen penalty. But Zappa Costa and uh, uh, Jeremy Boga had already given At Atalanta lead, so Pionte is equalizing them. Then uh, Quarta is sent off with a yellow red. And you think, oh, this will be hard for Fiorentina now to hang on. Maybe another overtime, you know, they already beat Napoli in overtime. But then Milenkovic heads it in in the 94th minute. And big win for Fiorentina, who, who were about then to face Juve against Sass, the win of Juve Sassolo. And despite Juve took, taking an early lead uh, through Dybala, as soon as Torari equalized, great shot in the 24th minute. This was a wide open game. I don't know why Juventus needed to play in the yellow jerseys uh, at home. That didn't make a whole lot of sense, but so be it. Um, but it was really a game where Sassuolo gave it their all. It was a tight cup fight and Juventus were struggling. And then uh, only Vlahovic created in the end the uh, Tresoldi own goal. I mean, he was celebrating like he's, he's growing, but uh, it took a wicked deflection. And Juve are through, setting up a semi-final that couldn't be spicier in many ways. I mean, a Milan derby in the semi-final uh, is always a, a big thing. And to be honest, I gotta say, I, 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 I'm not sure how what I, I should think about it. It's a little bit too high stakes, especially since the two of them are also kind of uh, gunning for the title at the moment. And I know that last season, the quarterfinal in the cup was this uh, kind of moment where uh, Inter overtook Milan. Now you had the other derby where at the moment Milan has the momentum. A derby can kill a momentum rather swiftly. But on the other side, it is for a title. It might be the best shot uh, for Milan. However, the other game, Juve Fiorentina... Yep, there is some bad blood, especially from Fiorentina fans. And the return leg with Lovic returning to Florence, that's gonna be dicey, 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 dicey. So lots of Coppa Italia action, but we also have to talk about the league where uh, actually Lazio could rebound uh, with a 3-0 win over Bologna. And then it was all about Napoli Inter. And it was a pretty interesting and cool game, I gotta say. Uh, Nap Napoli, of course, playing in there. It probably the best jerseys, although it was the 11th released. Scrap all the Maradona jerseys, Halloween jerseys, all the European shirts. That's the jersey you should have released from the beginning of the season. And maybe make a, a home version of that one too. And I think no one will complain about it. It's still too expensive in many ways. Uh, it was very early on. A penalty that, whatever, that was given to uh, Na Napoli that Insigne very assuredly uh, converts in the other last Insigne is going to Toronto. So... Basically, he uh, puts the team on his shoulder. Yeah, let's go for this title run. It was, though, and that is the one thing that held the game maybe uh, really back to exploding tall totally. It was a, a cannot-lose game for both sides. Um, Napoli, I think, were the better uh, team team in the first half. And especially Ozeman caused lots of trouble for Inter. And probably Napoli could have added a second one, but it would have been a little bit uh, too much to, 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 uh, to be honest. Um, but the Politano in, in injury maybe hampered in, uh, me, um, Napoli a little bit, going through all the Milan teams where I landed Napoli. Uh, but right after the half, Jaco scores an equalizer and he's becoming a true linchpin for uh, Inter. And then you could see the longer the game went on, I think Napoli was pressing a little bit more, but both teams kind of, there was always this feeling, yeah, Maybe 2-2, two, two. Uh, 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 splitting the points, 1-1 one, one is just enough. But it was a really good game, I have to say, over, over, overall. Big win for Venezia Torino, uh, that maybe we'll see them now, uh, you know, avoid relegation, although, as, as we see, Cagliari also got points of M, 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 but it must need to come down to those. Uh, what can I tell you about uh, Milan's win against Sam Sampdoria? It was only a 1-0. I mean, the goal... In the eighth minute, uh, Mike Mignon with pins it. His, his, his vision, I, I, we've already seen it, is really, really good. He pins it towards uh, Leao, who then, wonderful effort, the way he cuts in, 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 into the box, puts him up uh, on, on his other foot, and then in, in, into the net, makes it 1-0. It should have been more. There was nothing from Sampdoria. Milan kind of... Uh, 
also not very convincing to be to be honest yes derby win was big the win uh, um in midweek was big but uh, so you had the extra games but i think you need to put some some sort of way yes uh there were quite a few uh saves from the um, uh goalie uh, where it could have been more goal, uh, more, more, more goals, but all, also the way um, that, for, for, for instance, uh, Rebic just puts the uh, goal, uh, the ball says, says, uh, centrally on goal in, instead of going for the corners. That's the one thing. You kept Sampdoria around and maybe with a fluke shot, they could have gotten an equalizer, which then again would have taken all, out all the momentum. But yeah, with that win, you're not first in the table. I'll beat with the game more and that's why I decided to wear Milan for this video because how often do you see Milan uh, now in first place especially since they're not the strongest team but they have momentum at the moment and as I said there's a lot of positive energy going towards Milan. Um, then two really interesting games Sassuolo Roma I will, would have loved to see more Tammy Abraham giving Roma the lead just before the half However, Smalling right after half with an ongle and Torare uh, turned the game around for Sassola. Sassola is becoming a pesky team. That definitely has, has been saying. But then they get a yellow, a yellow red and very late on uh, Cristante in the 94th scores and equalizer. Roma just cannot get going. But this was maybe a, a, a way of keeping at least Sassola a little bit at bay. And then Atalanta Juve, two very similar halves. Juve starting out really well. It was always for the first 15, 20 minutes of each half, Juve was the better team and probably should have scored, uh, especially in the first half. Uh, but it was a very entertaining game with chances left and right. And it was always that Atalanta found themselves to be back. And the longer the uh, half went on, the, uh, the better Atalanta was. And this is an Atalanta team that's decimated by injuries. It has, 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 it has to be said. But I could have gone either way in the first half. Second half, again, you were starting out better, but Atalanta a little bit quicker to, uh, found the turn, uh, the, 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 the turnaround. Uh, and then Mal Malinowski scores probably what is so far the goal of, of the season. Dead shot, uh, a back heel assist from a free kick uh, from Freula, and he then just yanks it into the corner. And you could see the wicked uh, trajectory it takes. It's not directly in the corner, but there's nothing that Jesny can really can do about it. And then uh, I think Hatebo has a huge one to make it 2-0 and Atalanta really thought they had, had it back. But the one thing I gotta give Juve, despite them uh, losing the grip of, of, of the game, they then got the point uh, through uh, Danilo uh, header after the Dybala corner in stoppage time, which ended a very entertaining game that for a long time it seemed like it might have been uh, the most entertaining nil-nil draw that you will ever see. There were goals in it. It was a fun game to watch. And then uh, Spezia lose very late to Fiorentina yesterday in the evening. The reason why I'm uh, shooting the video now in the morning. Um, when we look now at the standings, how it's a title race. Yes, if we look at the moment, yes, Inter has a game less. But it is only two points that separate the top three. Give Inter that win at Bologna and it's still only two points and then two points behind so it would be uh four points between the top three still very exciting but uh, you would see and you see the model still decides very much on inter inter is the best team of the three in there uh otherwise in the table not many changes uh but as i said it's getting a little bit tighter between venezia and Cagliari. and sampdoria definitely also has to watch out um as maybe spezia and whatever you know um it's not quite done down down there but at the moment it looks like a duel between venezia and Cagliari for that final spot uh going forward we have on friday turin derby ahead of the champions league clash for uh Ju juventus milan have to go to salantana which is a must win game for them fiorentina atalanta renew their rivalry from the cup 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 that was a fun game and then into another tricky tie against sassuolo uh as i told you sassuolo is getting going and then napoli with a rather unpleasant visit to cagliari so gotta see we gotta see it's gonna be exciting in many ways so i would like to hear from you what you thought about the action in italy uh during the week give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel for some more and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye